What's up everybody? The first part of this video has nothing to do with videography or camera, but I believe it can save you a lot of money. So just, just go through it. Here's my theory. Every single time when I take my car to a mechanic, and I know that I have a problem with my car, I take it, they fix one problem, and when I get home there will be five more problems with my car. I think uh, some of them are doing magic tricks with your car just to get you back as a customer again. And this happened to me the other day. I took my car to the mechanic, I got home and there were more issues with my freaking car than it was before. I was never afraid to get my hands dirty, in fact, I believe if you're a male, you should know how to fix a couple of things on your car. But don't start with a head gasket change, just start with changing your wipers and then take off your tires and put them back and just start with easy things. Today I will need to change my brakes and to inspect my car and with this I guess I'll win $600, $600 in my pocket. Fixed, inspected and just home before the big rain. And here is the waterproof cannon. Do you like the kit? And now we can start the content that you originally clicked here for. In the past week I did my research and I found a couple paracord camera straps online. But for some reason these are all pricey and it's just not good for me. The main reason I want this because I want the paracord to be attached to the camera and to my wrist so nobody can steal my camera. I believe other people want this strap only to not drop the camera but if I'm filming in downtown I don't want to lose my camera if you know what I mean. So I did my research how can I make a camera strap that I can attach to my camera and to my wrist with no any additional parts other than a ring. And people are using like key rings but it's the same exact thing if you just pull the key ring really hard it just splits and again your camera is gone so for this reason I will use an actual ring if you have the force to pull this ring apart then then just take my camera first thing open your Red Bull now sit to not lie in here I have to tell you that first I seen this video from even ramped am I saying it right Ninja, even raft. Thanks for the idea. I'm gonna do something similar to him, but I think my camera strip will be still different. So this is why I'm making a vlog too. But to start the strap, similarly to him, I need to go up on YouTube and check what should I do with this. I would have made this strap a year ago if I knew that it was so easy. To not mess up the flow of this video I decided that I'm not putting a tutorial in this one. There are already millions of videos of how to do this cobra stitching on YouTube. So I guess I will just highlight the one that I used and I will leave the link in the description below. And in addition to that one if you just want to use my safety instruction and use the same exact cord and not the key rings and not the loose stuff. Just follow the steps how I did it. And I guess the conclusion for today's video is um, if there are things that you can fix or there are things that you can make, just make them or fix them. And that way you can save a couple of dollars and you can spend those dollars on, on better things like, like a new lens. The one that I have on my camera right now. <laughs> what, smile? what the fuck was that smile? So thanks for watching my videos. <laughs> And if you're not subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? Just subscribe and leave me a like button in the comment section below. See you in my next video, Bob White. So one of my good friends just requested a time-lapse of uh, me editing. 
Uh, I never did that, but I'll put that at the end of this video. And see you in the next one. Bye bye. I forgot it. <laughs> Maybe in the next one, okay? Um, sorry. Bye-bye.